today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> Baby dragon! <laughs> Go on, Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Good boy, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever! OK, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aww, do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. Ugh, stinky! Ugh. <laughs> hmm, it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. <gasps> the dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. <coughs> Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. <coughs> Aww, it's so sweet. <coughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <coughs> Ladybird. What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <coughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly, home time. Oh, I've got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny! Nanny! Hello, you two. <laughs> ah! A baby dragon. <laughs> his name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon! Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course! Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww! Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave! Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a dragon? Dragon alarm! Fire-breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree's in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! 
Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <laughs> He's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <coughs> ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No. I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <coughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <coughs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm, he needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, it's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff. How's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr. Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are, Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. <laughs> Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right. I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes. Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh, let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow. A grown-up dragon is ginormous. Right then. Home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <laughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. Wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. Brrr. Right. Fasten seatbelts and off we go. Oh, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa! Oh, it's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Well, Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston's the best pet 
fight in the world ever. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Gaston to the rescue! <laughs> Gaston's brilliant at digging. <laughs> He's dug up an old stick. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <coughs> oh, it's raining. Wand to umbrella. Wow! <laughs> Let's play indoors. Come on, Gaston. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Ah, oh, I love a clean kitchen. Hello, Nanny Clan. <coughs> no! Oh, don't let that ladybird into my kitchen. He's making muddy footprints everywhere. Get off the floor. Not on the table. Shoo, shoo. This is a food preparation area. Oh, where's he going now? Maybe he's gone to see Daddy. He likes Daddy. <laughs> uh, who let this smelly ladybird in the house? <laughs> Holly! Yes, Daddy? Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. We live in the castle. Gaston lives outside. <coughs> Never mind, Gaston. Let's all go to the great elf tree instead. <laughs> Mrs Elf, that blueberry pie smells delicious. Yes, Mr Elf. The secret is to cook it very slowly over three days. Hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. <laughs> ah, can't he shake himself outside? <laughs> that pie is not for you, Gaston. <laughs> now, Ben, Gaston should live outside. We live inside. OK, Mum. Ah! Where's the pie gone? Gaston's eaten it! We don't know it was Gaston. It could have been someone else. He's the only one with pie on his face! <coughs> Out, Gaston! I never want to see you again. Sorry, Gaston. You'd better go home. Go on, Gaston. Off you go! Holly! Ah, uh, Are you all right, darling? I'm a bit sad. Gaston isn't allowed in our houses anymore. Oh! Gaston! Oh! Oh! Gaston is all wet and cold. Oh! Gaston! Go and make that rocket somewhere else! Poor Gaston! 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 Hello, Ben. I can't find Gaston anywhere. Maybe he's in his cave. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? He must have gone off somewhere to be sad. Don't worry. I'll find him. Elves are good at finding ladybirds and I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! 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 Oh, where are we? I don't know. I've never been here before. Oh, it's a door. Speak, friend, and enter. <gasps> a talking door. Hello. Hello. I wonder what's behind it. That's for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, let's get the grown-ups. A talking door? Yes, Daddy. It said, speak, friend, and enter. Oh, that will be the old dwarf mine. Dwarf mine? Yes. The dwarves used to dig down into the earth, looking for diamonds and gold and stuff like that. Dig, 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 in our dwarf mine oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. 
dig, 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 dig. I like diamonds and gold. They're so pretty and sparkly and glittery. Let's take a look at this dwarf mine. What are dwarves like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. Here's the door. Ooh. It's locked. Speak, friend, and enter. What does that mean? It's a riddle. No entry until you solve the riddle. That's silly. I'll just magic it open. Huh. My magic doesn't work on the door. Yes. Fairy magic and dwarf magic don't mix. Maybe we should just ask nicely. How are you today, Mr. Door? Fine, thank you. Can we come in, please? Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe it means say the word friend. Good idea, Ben. Ahem. <clears throat> friend. Oh, that was easy. Let's go in. Ben and Holly, you wait outside. Oh, the dwarf mine could be dangerous. Then why are you going in? Uh, well, we're grown-ups. Can we go with you? Uh, why not? If you're with us grown-ups, you'll be safe. As long as the door doesn't shut behind us. Oh. Now what do we do? Wand, give me light. Maybe we can say friend again to make the door open. Friend. It's a new riddle this time. Oh, all right. What's the new riddle? If a car with a two-litre engine travels up a 15-degree hill at 10 miles an hour, how much fuel will it use if the hill is 100 metres high? Ah. What if we go this way? Lots and lots of tunnels leading for miles. We'd get lost going that way. If only Gaston was here, he could smell his way out. Good idea. Where is Gaston? Yes, where is good old Gaston? You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh, no. yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> there. All nice and clean again. <laughs> no, Gaston. Out. Out. <laughs> What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. <laughs> Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <whistles> oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank you, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, good 
boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. yes. I'll even make him a pie. <laughs> Gaston, thanks for rescuing us. Our hero. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's spring clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Oh. Goodness me! What a mess! Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind. I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. Uh, it's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs. Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages, getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, oh. he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. 
<laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Vessel, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink thistle! Pink thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing. Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp. Please help us, King Thistle. Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> <sighs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs Witch! Mrs Witch! Oh, Hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm. This is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. 
Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Superheroes! <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Hi, Ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elfman. What does Elf Boy do? Elfman. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <whistles> well, well. Well, but that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elfmobile. <laughs> the Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on, we can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Ooh! Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No, you have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the little kingdom. And I'll try and stop you. OK. I will be the Ice Queen. Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream? Ice Queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, Fairy Girl. Bye. I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. <laughs> It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold! Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Brr, it's gone all cold. I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes, let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today, it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought, Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man! And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No, we're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahaha. <laughs> ben! Lunch time! Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please! OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. Who wants pizza? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, 
good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, fairy girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. Bye. OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well. In July. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why is old elf? Why is old elf? There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow, no snow. Snow, no snow. Snow. Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh, come on, Nanny. It's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the Elf Cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant Palace of Ice! This is better than the Elf Cave any day! No, it's not! It's just showing off! <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen! What brings you here, Elf Boy? Elf Man! I've come to stop you! But you can't stop me! I'm the Ice Queen! <laughs> Oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Hooray! 
Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! The little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elf Man and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Superheroes! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Hi, Hi ben. ben! I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elf Man! What does Elf Boy do? Elf Man! He can run and jump and fly! That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> but that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elfmobile. <coughs> the Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on, we can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No, you have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the little kingdom and I'll try and stop you. OK, I will be the Ice Queen. Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream? Ice Queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, Fairy Girl. Bye. I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold! Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. It's gone all cold. I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes, let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought, Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man! And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No, we're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahahaha. <laughs> ben! Lunchtime! Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please! OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. 
Who wants pizza? Yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, fairy girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. 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 OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well. In July. Oh, this is ridiculous. Wise old elf, wise old elf. There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow? No snow. Snow? No snow. Snow? Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh, come on, Nanny. It's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what? What's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man, I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK, 
Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! <laughs> Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> Good! The sun is out! The little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elf Man and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Miss Jolly's Riding Club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah! Snails? Horrible things! No, they're adorable! There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> Snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Go, oh, Trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick. That's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. We'll groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. 
Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, oh, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Speedy, steady boy. Whoa! That's it, Speedy. Yeehaw! That was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Well done, Cowboy Ben. Yeehaw! So young Jake. What's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Well, I suppose he knows where he's going. All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> the cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Ho, ho, ho! 
Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Joy. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, they're so lovely and cute and cuddly. <laughs> Thank you.